My name is Anne Jungblut. I'm interested in cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are microscopic organisms gain their energy like plants by fixing the light from the sun. It's a very old group of organisms and they evolved roughly 2.5 billion years ago. We study them because we think they might have dominated life on early Earth. On this expedition we went to the dry valleys of Antarctica. There are several large lakes. And these lakes are permanently ice covered. And that ice cover is three to five meters thick. We went with an international team of researchers to study the sound of activity in these dry valley lakes. It's amazing to have the opportunity to go to Antarctica to study cyanobacteria in the environment where they actually grow. On the top of the lakes, there is no visible life. But then, going under the ice of these lakes, it's full of life. Cyanobacteria need to have mechanism to withstand the extreme of Antarctica by forming uh, microbial communities. And these communities are called microbial mats. These form pinnacle structures which look like little fairy castles and they're made of many colors. So they are, they are purple and green and have different shapes and forms. Back at the Natural History Museum. Using DNA techniques, we can define and describe each species and reconstruct the evolutionary relationship of each species. We're interested to find out how many different species are in these communities, if there are any novel species in there which haven't been um, discovered yet, and we want to find out what the evolutionary relationship is. Through that, we find out more how life evolved on Earth and maybe how these microbial communities formed on Earth.